Now overseas to Iran on this anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. Many feared, as you may know, this was going to be a day of serious new confrontations in the streets. And in fact, the ruling regime there did send forces into the streets and sent a new message to the West. We have been watching this all day long very closely. We're joined tonight by our chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, in our London newsroom. Richard, good evening. Good evening, Brian. While there were some clashes today, Iran effectively cracked down and proved it still controls the streets. Surrounded by cheering supporters, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad today bragged of new advances in Iran's nuclear program. We have the capacity, he said, to enrich uranium more than 20 percent or 80 percent, but we won't because we don't need it. 90 percent uranium is considered concentrated enough to make a weapon. U.S. officials suspect the claim may be exaggerated for domestic consumption on today's highly managed show of national pride, big enough to be seen from miles above, and which was at times theatrical, complete with three effigies of the Grim Reaper, one for the United States, the others for Britain and Israel. The few foreign journalists still in Iran, including NBC News' Ali Arouzi, face tight restrictions. Unlike previous years during the anniversary of the revolution, where we were allowed to roam the streets freely, this year the event has been very carefully stage managed. We're penned into a certain area, we're not allowed to talk to any pro-government supporters, and buses have brought us in and brought us out. But this doesn't reflect the bigger picture of what's going on in the city. That picture was filled in yet again by cell phone videos. There's now an efficient distribution network for the undercover videos, some of it run from Los Angeles by the large, mostly anti-government Iranian community. Today's videos showed protesters cheering opposition leaders and, more controversially, tearing down a poster of Iran's supreme leader and trampling it. But the protests were small. Just a few hundred turned out, and they were quickly overwhelmed by security forces. Thousands of them with batons, tear gas, and colored smoke. I think it's, uh, it's going to be disappointing for some, uh, certainly disappointing for, for people who are um, wishing for a revolution to, uh, to take form today. U.S. intelligence officials say today's crackdown was a setback for the opposition in Iran and could cause it to lose momentum. Brian? Richard, thanks for your reporting. Richard Engel in our London newsroom tonight. Thanks.